Man, black somehow always feels like the weakest color, which is convenient since it's my favorite color to play. Now, black only got a grand total of two hybrid Digimon and one 10 Warriors Digimon. They didn't even bother giving this color a tamer card to work with these hybrid cards. The good news, for me at least, is that the spirits of Earth are my favorite spirits, as I just think Grotemon being a little piece of shit is funny, and for no other reason. So them being in my favorite color in the game was a nice surprise. Though, having the least amount of support kind of hurts. But we can hope that BT-8 will give us the Spirits of Steel, along with a Tamer card that will at least work with the Black Hybrid strategy. Onto the cards themselves. BT-7 Grotemon only has the normal Spirit Evolution skill. Would have been nice for him to have something extra since both BT-7 Chukmon and BT-7 Blitzmon have an extra skill. But okay, I understand. This is black, and they seem to get most things a bit late compared to the other colors. BT7 Gigasmon has the Beast Spirit Evolution skill, as well as being a blocker. I know blocker is kind of black's thing, but wouldn't a de-evolution skill have made more sense here? You know, because anime? Sadly, black didn't get a level 5 hybrid Digimon, making it the only color to not have a hybrid with the Fusion Evolution skill. But as someone who has been playing Black since BT2, I'm used to getting lackluster support. BT7 Ancient Volkmon has the skills. On evolution, de-evolve one of your opponent's Digimon by three levels. And on deletion, you may play one Black level four or lower hybrid Digimon from your hand without paying cost. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do with these cards. They really don't create a cohesive deck strategy like the other archetypes. It's just like, Oh, Black is known for blockers and devolving cards, so there we go. You can mix these cards with a Black Blocker deck, since you would already be playing BT3 Joe, which is a cheap tamer to play, and you could add ST5 Taichi for the deck as well, but you wouldn't really have a win condition besides just stalling and hope your opponent can't out a field of blockers. With BT7 Ancient Volkmon having 13k DP, you can also try and make a deck around Final Zubagon Punch, and some of the other Blastmon support. But that doesn't sound like the greatest thing in the world. Seems we'll just have to wait and hope that when they print the Spirits of Steel, that it will help out Black Hybrid. Now, let's talk about an archetype with a bit more potential. Kimura Koichi is my second favorite character in Frontier, so I was very excited when he joined the team. You can imagine my reaction when three episodes after he joined the team, he had to give up his spirits to Koji and become a cheerleader for the rest of the series. But enough talk about the anime, we're here for cards. BT7 Kimura Koichi has the normal security skill to play himself when checked, and the skills on play, draw one, then trash one card from your hand. And the source effect, on deletion, gain one memory. BT4 Labramon on a tamer is actually pretty good, and the simple yet efficient source effect is a nice inclusion in purple. Might even see play outside of dedicated hybrid strategies. BT7 Lomon only has the normal spirit evolution skill. BT7 Kaiser Leomon has the B spirit evolution skill. On evolution, this card gains retaliation if you have a hybrid or a Koichi in this card's evolution source until the end of your opponent's turn. Now, there's an interesting combo involving Kaiser Leomon and Laomon. All you need is a Nemon and one of these hybrid Digimon with a Tamer in its evolution source. Attack with your hybrid Digimon, and when they are deleted from a security battle and sent to the trash, BT7 Nemon skill will activate, allowing you to play a Tamer from your trash. The Tamer you want to play is BT2 Ishida Yamato. His on-play skill will activate, letting you add a purple card from your trash to your hand, which should be either of your level 4 hybrid Digimon. Then, you can evolve that Digimon onto Yamato, letting you attack again. So, if you have multiple Nemon in play, and plenty of memory, you can produce quite a few attacks from this. BT7 Raihimon has the Fusion Evolution skill, and on deletion, if this card has a hybrid in its evolution source, you may play a purple tamer from your trash. Another way to recycle your tamers to keep spirit evolving. BT7 Ancient Sphinxmon has the skills, on evolution, delete one of your hybrid or 10 warrior Digimon to delete an opponent's Digimon whose level is equal or less to the deleted Digimon. 
And on deletion, you may play one purple level four or lower hybrid Digimon from your hand without playing its cost. Kind of like a level six BT2 Chimeramon, but able to use itself as cost to delete an opponent's Digimon. But I find it nice that he can trigger his own on deletion effect. That way you can maintain some board presence. Personally, this is my favorite of the hybrid archetypes. Having some multi-attack, recycling, and removal all wrapped in a nice searchable engine. Though, it seems it just isn't good enough to make a splash in the metagame, as it seems BT6 Titamon is still the best purple build. But with all of the hybrid archetypes covered, which ones are you going to be building? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the hybrid report, and I'll see you around.